trying to tell us, hey, it's more to it. And I think, bro, that they got the world prisoners, bro. Like, they they, they, they got us prisoners and not allowing us to be mobilized, bro. Think about it. You got to have a passport to go to this country, this country. What the fuck are you saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, think about that. Why the yep. fuck I got to have a passport to go to another fucking so-called country? That's what I'm trying to say. They create all these imaginary borders. And then right. they, the passport is the key. You see what I'm saying? This is what I was trying, Yo, to, so trying, to, to, trying to talk about last night on the panel when Star flip, flip, flipped out and everything. I'm like, majority of people in America have a key to the whole world. Meaning, in the sense where they could travel anywhere oh, in the world. Where... Hey, hey, hold on. Hey, pause the video right there. But look what a fucking sun is, dog. Now, think about it now. now, look, now imagine if you're standing on that, on that plane down there. You're looking straight up. The fucking sun is right above the fucking camera. What the fuck? People don't see that shit? Look at that, dog. Yeah. Look at that shit, bro. The sun is right above. It ain't a fucking angle. It's not away. It's right above the fucking sky. Look at the Look hot that spot. Big see that sunspot? Yeah. And that shit looks small as fuck, bro. Look at it. It looks small. Look, the sun looks small as fuck. Yo, I it. swear Yo, bro, the when I was growing up, like a spirit bomb, bro. Yo, guys, when I was growing up, there's like three times in my life I seen a second sunny. Eh? One of me. the times I was I was around ten years old, I was showing my dad that that there's a second sun in the sky, and he never believed me. And then the next, like a week after, I was showing him again, and like you know, he didn't want to look, man. I had to hit him real hard. I was ten years old, and when he looked and he seen it, he was like, "Holy shit, man!" When you told me about that the first time, I thought you were just bullshitting or or hallucinating. And then when now he seen it for video. himself, pause he's the like, video right there. Pause the video right there. Hey, hold on. Go back a little bit where you see the spot a little bit. Bro, you can see how big the fucking sun is just from that fucking spot. Look at it. Look at yeah. that shit. But I know, I, know, I know there's other suns and other moons that exist in other planes, bro. That light up yep. other planes. Bro, look some, at that Some planes shit, probably bro. have two moons. And two sons, hey, bro. This, this is my that's my point. Like, I do believe that there is shit out there that looks so good. No, I don't scary. believe I know it, bro. Because I seen that I seen the the second son with my own eye, bro. Yeah, came up in now, the atmosphere the life, for like a couple of minutes form. and then disappeared, bro. Now watch this. Now watch imagine this. Imagine what the light go, forms into that moon look like. Hey, look at yep. now ask y'all this question. Where are the fucking stars at? Now fast forward it where the sun is no longer view. Where are the fucking stars, bro? Look at this shit. Where the fucking stars at? That motherfucker should be lit up like a fucking Christmas tree, bro. Look at this shit. I don't see not one star in the background. Yep, because the, the stars fuck? are much higher than that. Yeah, the stars are, are reflections in the firmament, like right, in the water. Bro. The you firmament I mean? is above all of that. Yep. Hey, yep. And then look at this. Not only that, look at the fucking hue that's coming off the plane, bro. Look at that, that, that blue haze. Yep. That's yeah, let you know that shit, bro. What the that, fuck? That let you know ain't no edge. <laughs> yep. That let you infinite, know no infinite edge. plane. You that's can see I'm... infinite plane right there. Yep. That's the only time you are gonna get that effect. Yep. That's crazy, bro. That's what I'm saying, dog. Like, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying, bro. We. That's what I'm saying, bro. We just got a. We got a, the amount of knowledge and shit out that we don't know about is like a grain of sand, bro, on a beach, bro. Can y'all yep. fucking imagine, bro, what the other fucking world? Or the other part of this fucking shit we live on look like, bro, like animals and shit that we don't even. That's what I'm telling you, bro. Exist, like I really believe that these motherfuckers either been to these other worlds and seen these motherfuckers, and they just hiding that shit, or they just they 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 don't want they don't want people to know that the truth is is what exactly. Well, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. That's like, the fact. That, that's shit. the fact of the whole matter. They don't want people to be. To, to um explore, they want us to be confined in one little spot so that we could die and recycle again. It's because a whole. They want you to believe they God. They got God. They got a, they got a supreme God of this realm. They don't want you to know about you. You're free. You know what I'm saying? Like you just. That's said, like... right. They want to keep us in 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 the cycle, the recycle cycle. Right, bro. That's right, why they bro. put a recycle sign on everything we consume. But, but you want to know the sad part about it? The sad part about it is they don't give a fuck if, if everybody on this panel frees ourselves, go find a new world, find new new animals, new creatures, whatever it is. Hey, y'all, they don't give a that? fuck because you, you want to know allergic? why? You see that allergic? You can see the fucking moon, bro, right above the fucking earth and the sun at the same fucking time. In this but video. look, check this out. 
They don't give a fuck if we actually find out about the truth or not. Because if we find out about the truth, how are we going to convince the whole rest of the world that it's the right, truth? Right, right. Exactly. So if we can't convince the whole world that it's the truth, we already lost. Because as long as they got as long as they got a handful of people with a lie or a, decep- a deception, they still got power. Yeah, it's only just a matter of time before before the cycle ends up right back where we at right now. Because and 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 and, 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 and 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 that's the whole thing. Where where I think we're gonna come to a repatriation where we're gonna leave this plane. Right, you know I was saying? just about to say that. Hey, get out, get out my head, bro. I was just about to say, what if, you got <laughs> yeah. what if you got motherfuckers that have escaped, bro? What if that's the whole reason why they, why they, why they, what, what if, what if, what they got the whole Arctic military shit? What if there is a fucking way to get through the fucking ice and they protect them? What if there's motherfuckers that made it through? You feel me? Yeah. Like, think about it, bro. Like, think about that shit, dog. Yeah, they don't want My thing is to... this though. The safest thing for us to do without no knowledge of what the fuck is on the other side of that ice wall is to be able to go over there safely. Yep. And, if and, anything, and explore it for anything, herself. Yeah, because if, if 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 anything ain't what it was what was what's considered safe, we need to be able to how the fuck tell out of there, goddamn it, tell motherfuckers what we saw. So check me out. So check me out. So check we'll me out. How many of y'all boys? How many, how, many, how, many, how, many, how many of y'all boys right now, if y'all won the fucking Powerball, like two hundred million dollars right now, would be like, hey, you know what? Fuck buying the car. Fuck this, bitch. I'm finna. I'm finna go on an expedition, bitch. I'm finna. Fucking finna rights, go, bro. I'm finna go to South America. Hey, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give ten million of my. I, I'd meet. I'd meet up with all you boys and would fucking go on an expedition, man. We'd buy all the fucking gear we need, all the quads and skidoos all and whatever. We need, all right, the fucking we weed, need. all the fucking jets and whatever, and we fucking take off and go check out the fucking beyond the plane, man. Right. Hey, we need some pistols though, because I don't know, man. Because they can't stop us if we if I we're gonna um, dragging, if we say it's for like... if we say it's for expedition or research purposes. Right, because that's what the treaty says. Right, only for scientific and research purposes. Right. So they can't say we we're not allowed past that point if we're only doing research, right? And we're researching the plane. Right. First of all, they can't tell me I can't go no damn where. They can't tell me I, where I can't go. Fuck them. Because at the end, I don't. Of the day, I don't think they have the, the whole circumference of the whole circle all covered. Anyways. I don't either. I don't either, bro. Like. I definitely don't think they do. I think they got the part of the, the part covered that they can cover. Well, exactly. I think I think you want you want to know what you want to know you want to know what part they got covered. The part that's closest to the wall, and that would be the tip of South America. That's yep, the, the island, little, little, little America there. That little, that little fucking Antarctic island. Because because that's where everybody that's that's where every, the globe directs everybody. You see what I'm saying? Yep. 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 I, 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 and they purposely direct everybody down to that point on the globe, so they yeah. could they could um control like a ninety a ninety um a quarter of the uh circumference of the whole circle I got of the South Pole. Y'all, no. Oh, because all the traffic going towards you know what I that that about? region, right? You want to know what I, I just thought about? Man. You want to know what I just yeah. thought about? If what? you pull up the flat Earth map, you would see that that South America. The, that that land is the closest land to the to the ice wall because outside of that there is no other land that's close to the ice walls because guess what they still gotta have the resources to fuel up get supplies so think about that's it that's right they can't, they can't go they can't go off the coast of California to the ice wall because there's too much water so yes. they they can't go to Australia because there's too much space between land to ice wall so the only place and that's what I'm saying I honestly believe bro. That there have been people, the ancient, that they figured that out and they said, "Oh shit, there's a fucking," you know what I'm saying? And they made the journey, and now it's like, okay, well, they not a world government, like, hey, we can't let nobody know that they can lead this motherfucker because if they do, then Jesus and God and all this other shit, you know what I mean? That we that we that we got control of, they'll know that this shit not real. That there's other shit beyond what we've been selling them. That's what I'm saying, dog. Like, this yeah. Shit, uh, is- if you guys, did you guys notice that red line on the um on the flatter well, look, the, with the square and and the circle inside of it? There's right. a yeah. line. There's a straight red line on it, and I think that red line indicates the way, man. 
because there there is a way where you could walk across the plane and walk right to the ice wall. Oh shit! Well, you know, you know, you know, there's islands that they don't talk about that's off the tip of South America, bro. Like they don't even talk about no fucking islands, bro. Yeah, it wouldn't be a far sail from from that point, right? Right. But 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 on the on the on that circular map, that red line went across like um California way. You right. See what I'm saying. Right. Because there's um I forgot I forgot what they call it. Um the Siberian the Siberian Strait. um Yeah, the, the Siberian Strait. Strait. That's the way, man. That's the way. Because yeah. when you oh. go all the way, it goes all the way across the ice the ice wall and all the way across that plane. And like nobody really ventures on that Siberian plane. They say they say the um the Bigfoot people go across there. Oh or, or, shit, bro! Yeah. You're talking about the North Pole, right? Yeah, somewhere up there, but it's uh, yeah. past the Siberia. Yep. You gotta go. You gotta go all the way up into Canada, and then you go all the way up in the Northwest Territories. You see what I'm right. saying? Right. Yeah, right. and then go way past there, and you hit the Siberian, the Siberian way there that goes all across. They said that's that's where the um people from Asia came over into North America and create the Native Americans. That's fucking crazy, bro. Like what we thinking about, bro. And I think and see the rockets, the rockets, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like these motherfuckers know, bro. That's what I'm hey, saying, I got bro. a question they for know. y'all, man. What if what if we leave the ice wall and we find some uh, some shit we ain't ready for? Like what if we see some big ass golem, giant motherfucking horned beast ass looking shit, and it's just sitting on this big ass chair. And it's got all these little fucking, all these other little giant motherfuckers working for him and shit. And we just like basically the size of a damn ant compared to these motherfuckers. And like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what if we walk across, we'll stumble upon some shit like that? Because we were so curious to know what the fuck was outside the ice. Well, well hey, they, they told us that in, in Men in Black, um, in Men in Black, when, when old boy opened up the locker and he realized, and Tommy Lee Jones was like, you have no idea. And he showed him like, bitch, like you small as fuck. And that's shit, motherfuckers playing like playing with your ass like a fucking marble game, like, bro. The shit yep. deep, dog. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like, it's so much fucking shit, bro. We just we not even reached the peak, tip of tip of the iceberg with this shit, bro. I don't think I don't think if we venture off into the other worlds, I think they'll in accept us. Cause if if you listen to the Admiral Bird Bird story when he was disclosing um in his diary about how. When he when he flew past the um the pole, how he he met up with another um another cr- other aircrafts and like they disabled his aircraft and they brought him into his into their into their society right. But I think they tried to twist it around, trying to make it look like it was an Aryan race he met up. But what 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 it was, it was like a highly highly advanced set of human beings that right. Pretty much al- allowed him access into the plane, into the, into the other plane, and it was pretty much telling him like, "Look, we see what what's going on over there in your plane, and these guys are fucking fucking shit up. And if they don't fucking stop, we're gonna come over there and fuck shit up, fuck them up, right? <laughs> hey, keep that, yeah, keep that, keep that map up, keep that map up. Um, um, allergic, yeah, hell yeah." Hell yeah, and that's bro. why they all ran from fucking Antarctica, cause they 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 were all Admiral Byrd came back and told them like, look, these people are way more advanced than everything. Oh, you're saying. The, look at that fucking map there. That's why I was yeah. saying, yeah. like, that's what I was just saying. All land, bro. Yeah, right, put, put, um, put, um, pull, blow that up. Allergic, like, uh, like this shit goes deep, man, me? because. You you wanna you, you wanna know something about when I watched that video about um all the uh all the trees the ancient trees on Earth and and there's no forest right. left on Earth and they're talking right. about all these silicon based trees and they're saying that um when when they examined the, the ice wall they found that there was a lot of um like ashes from all these silicon based trees. Like like this whole plane went up into flames and and um this is what changed the whole atmosphere and created yes, all that bro, ice yes, and everything. Yes. And when Admiral Byrd 
when Admiral Byrd came on came on air, he specifically stated that the um, science community was doing explorations and doing experiments because it was once tropical in that region. Yeah, they wanted bro. to um, collect specimens and and and, and um, living organisms. Yes. That, so that, guess what? that they were finding in the ice, right? So see, this map proves that there was no ice. And when, when all them silicon-based trees or whatever they did, whatever scale of mining that happened in ancient times yes. really kind of destroyed the plane. And, and yes. they set Yo. this whole thing on fire, bro. Yes. You know what I'm starting to think? I'm starting to think that the fucking infinite plane is definitely all land, but What's happening now is the suns, the different suns in each world, they're basically getting closer and closer to each world's mid center to the point where everything outside of that sun's path is ice. Because that mm-hmm. sun doesn't, doesn't, melt, doesn't bruh. melt that ice away. Bruh. Bruh. So back right. then, where it was land right there, the sun's path was much wider than it is now. Yes. Bruh. And much brighter. Bruh, listen, yeah. listen to me. That's what all the planets, you know what they say about the planets like Mars and Jupiter? Bruh, those yeah. are other suns. Those are other suns of the other realms, bro. That's right. Those That's are other right. suns, bruh, of the other realms, dog. That's lighting them up, bro. That's why they call them the wandering stars, because they move like the sun moves. And right. so you could only view these planets certain time when they come in alignment or when they come in the circumference in right, their circle. Right, bro. When they, like when they when, make in their circle, yes, bro. Yeah. When they make in their circle, yes, bro. All right. Yeah. So if that's but you case, don't see the moons because, like, like we know the moons are there, but they're all transparent, right, in, in their phases. So, you, yeah, translucent. And um, you're not going to see the the moon in, a, in another plane because the light's not that bright from those moons. But they're right. still there. You know what I mean? They're still there even though we don't see them. Right. That's just like that's just like that's just like when the sun goes when the moon goes when the moon goes completely black, it's there, but you don't see it. Yeah. You know like so I don't now, know. My I, I don't know this. about you all. Have you guys all ever had any visions about like more, more than one moon and sun in your vision? Because yes. I've had many of those, yes. man. Yes, and yeah. like yes. ever since I've been awakened. Yes, bro. And I was just about to ask you that. Like, how do you explain the realms that have more than one moon? Like, what the hell could that mean? What the fuck does the what the hell does multiple moons? I I mean I think I think that it's world? energy. I think it's the energy, bro. I think I think it's the consciousness of that realm, bro. Like they need more moons. You feel me? Because think about it. Think about think about us. We only need one sun and one moon because the energy of the realm is so fucking low. You feel me? So the people, the people that they in the other realms. They more advanced, so they need more suns. They need more more. That's why you think about it. Why you think Luke? Luke so you saying uh, if we evolve, as we evolve, our our our, our cosmos is going is going to evolve with us. Yes, yes. yes. Our you sun and our think moon will follow us. So why you, you saying think... our sun gonna grow? Gonna grow? Gonna grow? Uh, um, a belt, and we might end up. We might end up with a second fucking moon. I don't, I don't, I don't think in this realm. I think we have to go to the other ones, bro. Because think about it, they control this one. They, they think about it, they control this realm, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So they, they only gonna allow the consciousness to go so high because think about it. If another moon and another sun popped up, then you be like, hold on, wait a minute now, wait a minute now, hold on, wait a minute. Yep. That would mean that that's something greater than what we've been told. So if they know that they want to keep the frequencies where we are at a certain state because they know what shit. The other motherfuckers. My point is this: we have no fucking weapon against them, so. We well, this is my point. Fly. This Go is ahead. my point. Though that makes a lot of sense, but this is my point. Why? Why the hell did they choose this one to deceive, and why the fuck was this one able to be deceived and not the other ones? I just had, I just had the answer, but it just fucking left me. I think they playing with the frequency on this fucking phone, bro. It just was in my fucking head, and it and it, and it got cut off, bro. Like I'm, I, I got a brain block right now, dog. Say that question again, and maybe they come back to me, bro. I swear to God, I like, just had basically, to basically, I'm saying, how in the why in the hell would they use? Why why are they using this terraform, this plane? Why are they why are they manipulating this one? 
why are they deceiving this one? And why why in the hell was this one able to be deceived and the other ones weren't? Uh, uh, okay, okay. Because they don't mind this plane already. Go. There we go. There we go. I got it. I got it. Because this is the first state. Like this is the this is the baby state. You feel me? And they realize well shit. We don't have to leave. We can control the babies. Because think about it, but think about it. If 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 the whole process like 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 the boy was saying, we're not supposed to grow old. We're supposed to grow up like a tree. Just think about it. The taller and bigger you get, eventually you, you, uh, you take, let's say, for example, you take a plant and you plant it in a little bitty ass cup. Eventually, that plant going to get so big that you got to put it in a bigger cup. Then that plant going to get bigger. Then it got to go in a bigger cup. So I think they say, yeah. you know what? Fuck it. We're going to control this shit. And we dare motherfuckers from the other realms to fucking come take our shit. Because I think, bro, that's the reason why they got nuclear bombs. Think about it. It's easier to control a baby than it is to control a full adult. Because think about it. They got our minds in a baby state. You feel me? Yep. They yep. got our minds in, in a child state. state. Right. In a child They got state. our bodies in a child state too. Shit. If a right, gorilla right. got stronger feet than me, goddamn. Right. Right. So, so think about it. Just basically off what we're looking at, the other realms would be where when you advance, then you go to the other realm. And, and you know what I'm saying? And, and the, <laughs> And the northern, the northern pole of, of where we stay at is like the source of all the truth lies. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Because uh, I'd like to reply. Go ahead. But yeah. If uh, with regards to the first question, uh, you were saying um, other moons, other suns, and stuff like that. Um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen uh, the cosmic egg model, which is. Um, Basically, and off of uh, hijacked off a lot of uh, Bro Sanchez's work. These are the brothers that won't give him any uh, uh, any credibility now for the work that he did. Uh, this is Santos Bonacci and Martin Kelly, but Martin Kelly came out with this um, if you this model uh, stating that the suns and moons that. Um, let me show a different video because this. Oh ain't... yeah, I saw this video, bro. This video is really, really this going in depth right there. Different suns and moons. If you can see that bouncing around in there, this will be yeah. us. Yeah, yeah. I saw this. I saw this one time. The yeah, planets, right there. the planets are suns and moons. That's the way they describe. Like, like uh, Mercury in the center is a sun and a moon. You have our sun and moon. Uh, so Mercury is androgynous in a way. The way they describe it, it's a sun and a moon. Then you have our sun and moon. Then you have another. Then you have uh, what would be Venus uh, and Mars. There'll be a sun and moon. Then you have outside that um, Neptune and Pluto. Yeah. Just, just, it'd be like that. So suns and moons outside different Taurus fields. So uh, Martin Kelly was explaining it with his. Um, so you got the Taurus fields outside here. Different suns and moons going around here. And they might bounce around differently. They'll have different traje trajectories. So sometimes we might see uh, a moon behind, uh, in, in line where our moon is. But it's just because yeah. maybe the outside moon, you know, that's where they're trying to spray and hide these things or I don't know. But the cosmic egg model is really interesting, that, that bouncing around. That's what I'm yeah, saying. I looked at that. That's, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, there's more, dog. That's what I'm saying. Like, like, like when they say they're going to Mars and shit, I what they saying coded that, bro. That that that's a fucking another fucking star or another sun in the moons that that goes to a whole another fucking land. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they trying to figure out how to fucking get there, but they can't get there. You know what I'm saying? Like, they want to get there, but they can't fucking get there. Yep, and that's my thing. Like, how in the hell did Admiral Berg get no, there if they can't? No, get there? The, the thing is, I actually disagree. I don't think they can't get there. I think the whole point of uh of them hiding these lands is the fact that they can get there. I don't think any toroidal field is necessarily going to be a physical barrier, like vibration, like uh, Bro Sanchez said. You know, the sound barrier. It's it's not really it's 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 it's, it, it's not. Physical, you but it's know. like a vibration. I see what you're saying. You want to know what, what I think saying. it looks like? If saying. you was to look at a, if you was to look at the actual doorway to another toroidal field, or actually go to another toroidal field, it'll look similar like that. Uh, that movie that came out not too long ago. 
uh, I forgot the name of it. It, it, it. it just came out. It was about some doctor scientist who was working on something, and his wife had to investigate how he got sick and shit. It mm-hmm. came out not too long ago. Um, y'all ain't seen it yet. It's a sci-fi movie. I think I know what you're talking about, bro. I just can't think of it. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, started yeah. with an A. It started seen, with an A. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. I just think of it. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, so you know how she how she looked out the backyard or whatever, and then she saw that big ass fucking wall of colors and shit. Right. And then when she walked through that that wall of colors, she saw all kind of animals that 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 she never saw before, all kind of creatures and shit she never saw before. Like I think that's what a Toroto field looks like. I think if you were to actually see one face to face, like get close enough to one, and to be honest with you. I think some of these filmmakers do know what's out there in that Antarctica. That's country. what I was just yeah. about to say. Look at look well, at, yeah. movies, look at, look at bro. You look at some of these movies, bro, where they look talk at, about all these horror movies in Antarctica, bro. Look at they look talk at about some of this they've shit, they've bro. always known, man. If you guys read the book of Enoch, yes. you'll 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 understand that yes. the ancients knew of this, knew of these worlds. Like Enoch talks yes. about the tenth heaven. He talks, he, right. he talks about there's 10 worlds, 10 different worlds, bro. Yes. That yes. he's been to all these different planes and they go up in height and elevation. Yes. Hey, and guess what? Hey, Trigger, you said that last. I remember, like, you said with the convex earth that you go to a higher elevation. And not only that, what you just said, the boy, look at what Lucasfilm does, bro. He's telling, he's saying in the movie so many words. About other worlds that got two moons and three moons and all this shit, bro. Like, mm-hmm. this is real shit we talking about, dog. It is. Yep. That's the reality. Look at the and star. You know what? And you know what? Neil, Dice, Neil Tyson Degrassi, he's showing you that it's real because guess what? Let me tell you, let me tell you, let me tell you the trick that they're doing. They keeping you. They keeping the world argued on Ar- one mute point. You know what I'm saying? Like they're not telling you about the whole. They just tell you about a piece. Okay, well, yeah, let's just tell them about, let's just keep them arguing about this and gravity and this, this here. But we can't let them argue about the fucking theoretical field. We can't let them argue about the cosmic egg because if they figure out the cosmic egg and become mainstream, how the fuck are we going to defend that? You feel me? So, yep. How are we going, how are we going, how are we going to invest confidence in NASA when they don't know shit about it after we have been investing all these millions? That's what they trying to get avo- avoid having to explain, bro. They they can't explain <laughs> how they have no answers after all of that money, bro. That's hard as fuck to explain. Oh bro. shit, y'all see this video, bro, with the, with the with the fucking pyramid and the Tower of Babel? Like, what if that's what they was trying to do, dog? Like, they was trying to build a fucking fucking tall ass building, bro, to touch that shit. Like, or or they're, pr- they're trying to touch the window of heaven. Right, that's or or not even that. Or what if what if it's as simple as bro, the ancients left behind the fucking keys to get to these other worlds and they left and like you know what I'm saying? They say, hey, okay, well when this when this when these group of people, this generation evolved, we gotta leave behind fucking signs and symbols and shit for them to figure out so they can evolve and come. But I think that the gatekeepers like Brother Sanchez talk about they don't want, you know what I'm saying? They yeah, want- and, and and like if we follow the pyramids, you, you find that they lead lead you all the way out of this realm, bro. Right. That shows I- you that the civilization was moving. Man, this shit I'm looking at right now. Because it's bro, all it's across the world, all the way to Antarctica, them pyramids. Show you that that civilization was moving. They're always moving. Wow, so they went, I've never seen this before. This is went deep as beyond fuck. that point. This is deep the as vectors. fuck, bro. Look the at seven. the look at the seven, bro. Look at that shit, bro. And, and look, you can see the Masonic, the Masonic square and compass right now, bro. What the fuck, bro? They showing you right now all the shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, dog. These motherfuckers know, like, like Lurgic said, they know. They can get there, but it's the simple fact that how they gonna explain it after all the fucking lies they don't fucking told, bro. All right. Do you know if Na if, if you know NASA was pushing their motherfucking uh envelope when they allowed Neil deGrasse Tyson to get on TV and, and, and say that the earth is not a complete sphere? Yeah, I think they fucked up. 
but you see what they right. do. But you see what they do whenever they whenever they gotta explain some shit and, and, and explain they dumbass they dumbass ways, bro. They put a black dude up there to do it, bro. Right, mm-hmm. have a scapegoat, bro. Right, scapegoat. Because at the end of the day, fifty years from now, and it does come out and it's true, the earth is flat. Only person that looks stupid is Neil deGrasse Tyson. Right. Hey, you're right though, because I was like, "Damn, they they finally said." See, you see what they did though, right? They used a half truth. Well, yeah, the Earth, we yeah, we know the Earth isn't a ball; it's more oblate. It's more like a like a pear shape. Well, hold on, Neil, hold on, Neil. So you said it's more pear shaped. So you know, and I think, but I think they knew the truth was gonna come out. So I think they used the pear shaped shit as a fucking buffer, bro. Like, like, like you said, like you just said, a scapegoat, like. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it so is a buffer. Figured... Go ahead. It is a buffer, bro. It definitely is a goddamn buffer, bro, because at the end of the damn day, they knew that this was going to happen because of technology. Once they yeah. found out that, that, that Joe Schmo can call, can call Chun Lee way to fucking China and talk to her about her damn essay or at her exams, bro. Once they figured that out, bro, they're like, oh, shit. They, shit. It's only a matter of time now. Yeah, or, it's only, or, 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 or it's only or it's only a matter of time it. when 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 a motherfucker could tell somebody to go outside in California and another motherfucker go outside in, in Europe and they see the same fucking moon in the sky. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, you know they knew with technology that this time was gonna come. They knew. Yep, because they know communication is the key. Yep. Yep. That's yep. why they've always they, been have have their hands on the communication. And have their hands in everything that has to do with communications. Ask yourself why police. Ask yourself why policemen don't interrogate everybody that got something to do with a crime in the same room. <laughs> they don't care. They, if if all of us robbed the bank, they're gonna interrogate us one at a time. Why? Because if they can't find, if, if we don't snitch on each other, they're gonna try to deceive us with lies to get us to believe what somebody else snitched on mm-hmm. another one of us. And try and get information out of us. They yep. gonna have to do that by 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 interrogating us in separate rooms. Because if we was all in the same room, it'd be harder for us, for them to get one of us to crack. Yep, it'd be much harder. So that's why they interrogate you in, in separate rooms so that they can eliminate the the communication, the communication mm-hmm. between. Yep. Yeah, and they can't do that no more with this mainstream, mainstream media. <laughs> it's gotten to the point now, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm, a, I'm I love rap music, bro. But it's getting to the point now, bro. That rap music starting to be comedic, bro. And it's starting to get. It's starting to be shameful, bro. Right. Well, it's beyond a joke, bro. We we can only rely on ourselves now. But the problem is. They're trying to they've tried to make it difficult for us to get to as independent artists to get our things out there. Bro, I've I've literally like uh I've invested all of my money in my studio, my PC, my camera, everything to make make my own shit, man. But it, it's hard to be motivated to do it yourself, man. You need a team. You need a team of people because I'm producer, I'm I'm the sound engineer, I'm the writer, I'm the rapper, I'm you know what I mean. Yeah. I'm, the, I'm doing the videos. It's 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 a lot, bro. All we need is our all we need is our own international record label, bro. You're right. You're right, bro. We'll be yeah. the biggest. We'll be the biggest music genre, bro, since rap, bro. Because rap is already dying away, bro. What is yeah? Because we, we got the new topic. It, no, right? No, we got the truth topic. The best thing bro, about music right is now, bro. the best thing they about music me. is people listen to it and they can't fucking debate you on it. And if it sounds good and rhymes, they're fucked. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's in there. It's in their brain because it's almost like uh, people see you as a really a higher being. It's the easiest way to indoctrinate is yeah. through music. Yeah, I mean, the, it, pe- musicians are worshipped, bro. So we gotta, in a sense, take advantage of that. You know that that mindset of yep. and, and bring it back to the real, away from the idolaters and and, and uh, people who are in love with TV characters. Yep. Y'all know music was a way is a way of seduction. One, mm-hmm. it's a way of serenading, man. Like no matter what type of music you play, you can listen to trap music. 
And what that trap music is doing is serenading, serenading, i.e. I. seducing you into that element of that music. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm it's saying? Like, so it's, I just, think it's luring you into that life. I watch a lot of Hans Zimmer stuff. Hans Zimmer does the music for like big films, Batman and stuff. And the way he describes it is, is that when you make music, it's saying, it's telling you, forget your timing. Forget your clock, forget that TikTok. You're gonna you're gonna go with this boom, this bang, this you know this uh, sharp noise. I'm bringing you into my world, my timing, my world. Come into my world. That's it's enticing, like you say. Yeah, definitely, like seductive. Yep, it really is, man. And that's why that's why that's why art in general, art in general is very important. But it's a double-edged sword, just like all the other great, great virtues of life, man. Like art is the creative mind of of of, of everything. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Even monkeys make art, bro. So it's like this, man. When you create music, bro, you you actually you actually are are um you know conjuring type of sort certain energies, man. So when you make positive music. You know what I'm saying? When you make positive music like that Pharrell song, that happy song by Pharrell, that shit was so infectious, bro. That shit hit number one on the charts within it, within the first two days it hit the radio, bro. Because, you know, uh-huh. it's the message behind the song, the way the, the vibe of the song, the way it turns on, the, the, the instruments used, it conjured up a it's, happy spirit. And, and and the the, the, it's the rhythm, like heartbeats. Um, music is coming from the first rhythm or the heartbeat. Which is in everybody. It's the one, two, doom, doom. Yep. Yep. The more studying doom, and the more, doom, doom, the more conception doom, doom. you do, the more imagination you do, the more work you do in the music, the more powerful it gets, man. I mean, like when you're writing lyrics and you take that time out to really concentrate on what you want to bring out in that lyrics, the more time you take, you know, crossing things out and trying to refine that lyric, that's what makes it become something such a work of art. It's, it's, it's ridden, uh, getting rid of the the, the, the the stuff that you didn't think fit in and making stuff just fit like a like a, like a key. Yeah. Right. Magic. It's magic. Yeah, it is magic. Music Everything is the key. Is magic. <laughs> Everything that comes from the, the creative element of the human brain is magic. Even your imagination That's right. is magic. Yep. Yep, they just don't want to teach us that though, how powerful we are. You know your imagination, bro. You can create a whole new world on a piece of paper. You can create up a whole damn story, a character, a fucking whole life behind this character, who did, how this character's personality is and all that, bro. That's magic right there. Mm-hmm. That's create creation right there, bro. They want to teach us the art of the magic. No, they 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 they're trying to monopolize it like they have have this on all all the fucking america got talent and they got all these magicians and everything and and it's like really <laughs> yeah they want us they want us lonely as hell broke down and only a shell yeah for real because when, when we come when we come together we unlock the power of all our magic and then we realize yeah. like you know the, the, all the different abilities exist in each and every one of us, and when we unite the, those abilities, we 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 become needless or nothing. Like we we don't lack any fucking thing, and 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 that's the magic right there, man. Well said, brother. Well said, man. I love I love the knowledge you drop, bro. The way the way you have a way of saying things, man. That that Caribbean way, man. It's just so raw and to the point, and like, yep. yeah, yeah. No, but yeah, I, I, be, I was disappointed about the last two Bro Sanchez shows, man. I was like, damn, man, this guy hasn't had a chance to speak, and um, and he, you gotta gotta respect the guy. He's not letting people on his panels like this. Not to change the not to change the uh the uh vibe real quick, but um I just put in the back chat uh this little slick video a little n- another visual that I just did uh earlier today if y'all want to check it out boy go on and play that thing on there man let me know what y'all think real quick play it on the live real quick yeah 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 is it in the okay okay yeah that'd be dope. 
<laughs> White boys finished, man. Huey, when I seen that, I was like, that's some serious clickbait. I was like, Huey's going in on some KKK shit. What's going on right now? <laughs> Facts, baby. <laughs> Hey, hey, this is this is this is a a, a a a a frustrated white man's perspective from a black man's point of view. Oh so, you know. bro, you brilliant. You fucking brilliant, bro. One second. Let me put this on. Let me get share my screen. I hope the I hope the audio comes out okay. Hey, I see a green screen right now. Here we go. Yeah. 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 You niggas are suicidal. I'm a motherfucking killer. Put my sheet on my head and go to rallies with all my friends. And if it's not the party, nigga, I'm on my knees. I got your ass. I'm asking ten me to sit. I do the track and everything. Yo, this thing's mad, Huey. It's holy fuck. What? <laughs> mad. Yo, the thing's mad, dog. Like, yo. Yo. <laughs> That's a fucking classic, bro. You never know. You never know. Yo. Yo, we gotta yo. get UEP's album drop, yo. What get, the we, fuck, UEP? We, we gotta get <laughs> UEP's album drop. Yo, like, no P, fucking joke, dog. What the like, yo. fuck, bro? That video is mean, bro. That I is, just did that with my phone, bro. I did that all by myself with my phone bro. and everything, bro. Uh, I hey, did don't let the little naughty niggas come, oh. come, come, come try to get you put on now, man. Bro, 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 you're seasoned, yo. You're you're well ready, bro. Like, yo, you gotta get an album right out, right out there, bro. Bro, that is hard. Your your video is ill, bro. 
I'm not even joking, bro. What you've done with your phone, this should, bro, it's inspired me, man. Fuck. Bro, it, it don't even need to be mastered because it's already fucking mastered. Like, holy right. fuck. Content. Drop it off content is mastered. Bread. The content is mastered. Yeah. You know Yo, it's so, it's so nice, Huey. Word up, bro. Thank y'all so much, bro. Appreciate y'all so much, bro. Yeah, Appreciate it. I'm saying that from my heart, bro. It's real life shit. Like, yo. Bro, blown away, man. That shit was fire, nigga. You made yeah. for this. You got those punchlines, my brother, that hit home like a fucking baseball bat to the back of the skull, bro. Serious. It's... Yeah, I could rock to that all day, bro. Fucking pumped right up. Fucking turned right up. Right the fuck up. Real it's loud. Those, it's those punchlines, <laughs> Huey. You got a gift. You got a gift, though, Huey. It's those punchlines, man. And you got to spread this knowledge with those punchlines. If you got a gift with them punchlines, bro, it's just got to be done. You know it. You know it already. Yes, sir, baby. I was telling y'all the other day when I was saying I've been master myself, bro. Like, I'm a master of everything, bro. I try bro, to show you. Yeah, hey, yeah bro. You got like, like, the flat earth community. Yeah, we could feel that, bro. We could feel that, like, in a real way. Like, you know what I mean? Bro, you you bring out that energy, bro. Like, you know, when you you listen to real raw, raw bro, rap, that, bro. That's you bring out that enough. real fucking raw energy, bro, with the truth. I mean it. I mean it. Yo, it literally woke me up. I was like, like sleepy just now. That woke me up, like literally and physically and mentally. It was like, whoa, bro. I felt like I was in a mosh pit. I wanted to smash my room up, bro. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, I was just gonna switch spots too, man. I was like, fuck. I was gonna lose my signal for ten minutes, but I'm like, I gotta check the video out first before I move, man. I ain't fucking moving. Till I see this fucking video, man. <laughs> bro, you you have me vibes in, man. You could make yo, if you wasn't in the truth community, bro, you'd be making some violent ass motherfuckers with that music, bro. I'm feeling to smash something up, man. <laughs> I was smash some NASA fucking up. For real. Yo, mm -hmm. you guys, you guys keep building, yo. I'll be, I'll be right back. I'll hop right back on. I'm just gonna change spots here, and I'm gonna lose my signal for about ten minutes. Shit, man, Huey, super impressed, bro. Freaking you know. hell! I hope everybody else is still awake and heard that. Hell yeah! You know what I mean? What? Yeah, Huey. I'm a, I'm a fucking pull that up on YouTube right away and share it to everybody. Appreciate like that, family. Appreciate that, man. You know you've already, you, you done started releasing videos now. You can't stop now, bro. Like we are hungry for the next one now, bro. You gotta. Yeah, stop. I got I got some else in the makings, boy. I already got some else on the sleeves. I'm gonna bro, try to I drop some to y'all every two days or something, bro. I got so much material, bro. I got fucking material, bro. I probably bro. got like fucking twenty albums worth of shit, bro. bro All bro. of this music that y'all hearing, bro, is old, bro. This ain't no, no, even none of the new stuff that I do. No, 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 no. You need to understand. Classic material doesn't have a, an age. Time. Right. You're right. You're damn right. sure right. There's no time. But, bro, your, your, the symbology in your video, bro, was hard in hitting, bro. The way you chose to make that video, bro, I got to say, man, it's eye-opening. It makes you want to watch it, bro. You're engaged. It's like, whoa, what's this guy doing in the KKK outfit? But, <laughs> Bro, you know, hey, bro, you should have seen the neighborhood when I came out in the neighborhood. They was like, "What the fuck, yo?" They said, "Huey, what you doing?" They was like, "What the fuck, bro?" They was all in the windows. They was taping me everywhere. They was like, "What the fuck, bro?" I was in the rain. It was raining. That's free publicity. You did. You're so genius. People would have been filming you and putting that shit on Twitter. You getting free publicity with that shit, and that's how we're gonna work it, bro. Yep. Yep. Hey, you you a genius for that one, man. Real. Appreciate it, bro. I just try to change the vibe and give y'all something good to think about, bro. I had that in the works for y'all all night, bro. I've been waiting on that one. You, man, you, look, we need more brothers like you on the panel, man. Brave enough to goddamn go for what they standing for out here, bro. Like for real, bro. And 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 and, and, and you, you stand for something that's that's rare out here today, bro. Like, cause I don't even know what generation or age group you in, bro, but it's not a lot of us out here that 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 really go for our musical talents like that, bro. And, and then on top of that, fight for our own right and our own beliefs, bro, and what we stand for with that talent, bro. Most people that got talent in rap, bro, they rapping about liquor and shit, bro. Shit that don't matter, bro. 
But you right. got your talent and you using your talent to rap about something that could help help a, a a kid that's that's not even born yet, bro. You get what I'm saying? Right. Like like the shit you rapping about, bro, could, could could be a history lesson for a kid in a generation after us. You never know. So like mm-hmm. I, I commend you for that, bro. That's 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 called responsibility, man. Like real oh, shit. Oh, you know you there's gonna know be you. no books. There's gonna be no books, so people will be listening to music, Huey. This is gonna be like scriptures in the future, bro. Like yeah, you know, bro. You already see. You already see how our generation ain't reading shit. Hey, reading shit. hey. You want to know what? You know what? Proud you know of that what? shit, y'all boys. Bro. Y'all boys. Y'all boys just said some shit that I know to be true because they coming out with the movie, fucking the book. They, I know I read in high school. I know y'all boys probably read Fahrenheit 451. They coming out with the movie coming out this year with the same black brother who fucking in the fucking the same dude who played in Black Panther. He the black dude in the movie that's fucking like he a firefighter, and in the in the future there's no books to be allowed to be read. So he was like, "Well, hold on, wait a minute." There's knowledge in this shit. So he's pretty much fighting the system by trying to bring the books back to the people. So this coincides with what we what we're talking about right now. I don't know if y'all boys seen that trailer, but it's called Four Fahrenheit Four Fifty Seven, bro. But at the same time, I think it's uh um that's just the dumbing down of of the people like uh. They 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 kind of mess themselves up by by allowing um, books in the first place. I think like the pre cultures didn't really allow doctrines to be written in that kind of way. I think um, I'll, I'll go back to my research of the druids that they they banned books because people would write doctrines for people to follow. Yeah, like and that. it was so it was so easy for them to um, um, sabotage and, and and control people's minds with them doctrines. They could put anything in them doctrines, and people would, would actually follow that shit. But yeah, Huey P, be proud of that stuff, man, because you that is a revolutionary stuff you're doing right there. Um, we we gotta, man, we gotta support you as a community, man. If we don't, bro, God damn us, bro, seriously, because that's hard. That's that's you one of the you you one of the best artists out there right now, even better than most artists. I I can't. I can't think of a flat earth rapper out there that can top your delivery right now. And um you you, you will appeal to that 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 grunge that grunge market that that rock market, bro. You, you got you got you got bro, you got he the new Pastor Troy, bro. Just go ahead and say it, bro. He the new Pastor Troy, bro. Fact. Bro, I appreciate all of that, bro. I appreciate that, bro. But I I I, I um I, I also have to say that me personally being in this community, bro. I can't even say that, bro. I say that I know that you. I just hearing you spit allergic the other day, bro. I know you got the same ability, bro. You just gotta you got a whole nother edge, bro. A whole nother delivery coming from a whole nother perspective that we didn't even know. That me personally didn't even know that it was coming from the other side of a water like that, bro. So like, man, it's just so much talent in this community. Period, bro. Like, bro, Sanchez, he's super fired. The other brother who was dropping flows the other day, man. I mean, like, bro. I also, I you know, masterpiece. With his artistry, you, I mean, like we are definitely gifted brothers, man. We are definitely gifted in everything that we do, man. All the way around the board, this is the reason why we heroes of the world, man. This is what we are. I already know it for a fact, bro. But when I hear Huey, I hear ODB, I hear Pastor Troy, and I hear ah oh, shit. I just had it in my head. Oh yeah, Immortal Technique. I heard somebody say it the other day. I hear Immortal Technique, Pastor Troy, and ODB all mixed together. With with Bro Sanchez. No, with Huey. Oh yeah, with Huey. Hell yeah. <laughs> with Bro Sanchez, I just hear New York. I know y'all may think I'm silly, but <laughs> I straight just hear every New York guy. <laughs> Y'all need Shit, to he, he don't even. He got a different <laughs> voice though, and he got a. Nah, he remind me. Of, he remind me of Pac some type of way for for, for me, bro. The way bro he be going, is, he yeah. doing. Yeah, he got a little hip hop with him, bro. Like a lot of hip hop with him, bro. Like he not. Yeah, he, hey, he he old school. He old school <laughs> hip hop. Like the early early nineties hip hop, bro. Like yeah, the bubble, yeah. The bubble, like the bubble, gum, bubble gum rap. Like you know what I'm saying? You you hear yeah. every, he make, he wants you to feel what he's saying. Like yeah. You know Bro I mean? said one of my favorite lines in hip hop history. He said, "Once you finally realize what religion is about, your history told to you from your enemy's mouth." Woo! Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> Damn! 
Bum school is Shit. You don't need to write Damn. nothing else after that. <laughs> but yo, <laughs> be real. Hey, y'all, hey, y'all ain't peeped his little videos that he got on his uh, bro Sanchez TV. He got about like 10 little music. Hey. Hey, Man. I'm gonna be the prophet on this subject right here, bro. I think bro Sanchez is gonna be a celebrity in about a couple months, bro. Of course. Nah, like on some real shit though, bro. Of like I think is. the man gonna end up being on like Breakfast Club, shit <laughs> like that, real soon. If not next oh. year, bro, it'd be like, no, it'd be like listen, the they don't want a man like him. He is too he, to his mouth. You, you cannot control that man's mouth. Okay. He's like UEP. Okay. Like me, I might be. I look. I look like uh, you know, nicey, nicey. But you can't control my mouth. <coughs> my nigga, my nigga. They had six nine up there, bro. You can't control six nine. Nobody can control six nine, bro. What what they I'm saying? Hey, what he what he's saying? There, but but, but hold on. But, but but hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. But what <laughs> what he's saying is is that six nine. He's part of the system. Fucking brother Sanchez. They gonna he 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 he's gonna be a celebrity. But he's gonna be an unwanted celebrity, bro. Like the man, his rhetoric, the way he talks, he can't be controlled. You feel me? So he, people are gonna flock to him, but he's gonna be an unwanted celebrity by the system, bro. It's gonna happen, dog. Like that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm telling y'all. We are at the forefront of some shit, bro. Where we're the catalyst, dog. Like the world gonna have no choice but to know who Trigger is, who who P is, who allergic is, who Master P is. Who the boy is, you feel me? Like they not gonna have no fucking choice. You know who we are, bro. Yeah, you, know you said it, bro. Catalysts, we're catalysts. Like Huey P. I want to say something about Huey P. and Bro Sanchez. Like, uh, personally, bro. Like, since coming into Flat Earth, I've had my own like rap heroes and shit like this. But since going into Flat Earth and realizing these motherfuckers be promoting a globe and planets and fucking universe and you know and shit out there, I'm like, you know. Uh, it's, it, I got no motivation. My only motivation is me. But now I'm in the community. I got <coughs> artists as well that motivate you and inspire you. You hear the lyrics, you're like, damn, I need to, you know, I need to do this thing. But I lost my motivation and we need the, the elders, you know, Huey P, Bro, Bro Sanchez to be the catalysts for the younger generation <laughs> coming through. Because one day you, you you guys will be sitting back, back like, damn, I made this happen. Ah, and you know what? These youngsters you know what? happen. Look at these youngsters rapping in 1920, rapping about flat earth. You'll be, you be laughing your head off one day once you realize you're the catalyst for this. Because I'm telling you, you yep. guys, you you know guys are my influence as well, you know? Yeah, because that's what they're doing right now. They're basically influencing the youth right now when they drop music, when they rap. Who really listening to them? But shit, it's a whole lot of young kids that probably listening and watch these videos, you know what I'm saying? And they probably listen to the flow and they're like, damn, bro. That inspired me to be a dope ass hey. flat earth rapper. I got something hey. to rap about now. I got some other than drugs and pussy and motherfucking liquor to rap about hey. now. I hey. ain't got to rap about money now. I can rap about my focus on reality. I got you know a question for everybody like on this panel. I got a question for everybody on this panel. And I'm just, and, and see, I got a gift that I don't really like talking about, but I already foresee it. Uh, I know I'm ready, but are y'all boys ready to be ambassadors of this shit, bro? Because I'm telling you, they know who we are. And they know we all associated with each other. They know we associated with Brother Sanchez. They know we associated with uh, uh, Allergic. They know we associated with Knowledge Rising. They know we all associated with each other, bro. So I'm telling y'all right now, bro, when this shit pop off, dog, we going to be in the spotlight. And I'm not talking about like on some celebrity shit, but I'm talking about on some change in the world type shit, bro. And I've been waiting for this my whole fucking life. I'm gonna say it again. I've been waiting for. I don't think we could be in it because, first of all, I don't think we can be in the spotlight and change the world. I think if we in the spotlight, we're not gonna be the ones to change the world. I think if we if we get people that 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 would be in the spotlight already in the spotlight and utilize them and their resources and get and get our agenda across, then we'll be successful. No, nah, we, we can't. We, 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 game, we, we, we can't. We, what, what I'm saying is because check it out. Let me tell you why. Why I say with that as far as we we have to be the ones because Bob tried it and they ousted his ass. You feel me? So we got to be the ones that. And I, I'm saying it because brother, you they really didn't oust. They, they really didn't oust Bob. Bob. Only reason why Bob seemed to be oust because he don't know it's other people out there just like us. 
that can support him in his claims, bro. He don't oh, have he no knows. help. He a celebrity. He in a different world. He can't trust people like like think about no, it like he's, this. He, B.O.B. B.O.B. seen B. O. B. all of us at a gas station. He not gonna think that we think the same shit. He think he gonna think that we just some regular people, and he he don't want to voice his mind to us because we gonna look at him like he crazy. So. It's all about him. No so, matter. so, so you know what you need. these controlled opposition brothers. I gotta say it straight out, yeah, because this guy, he, he he's rapping all flat earth stuff and you know amazing things in his lyrics. But then the minute he's in an interview, so for example, you have someone following you as an artist who's a flat earther. You know, we're following this guy. We're like he's an ambassador for the flat earth, and then he's talking genius shit in his lyrics. You know, doing in a trap style. And then he goes in an interview, but he can't explain what the fuck he's talking about. Right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's genius. That's genius. Why is that genius? Because his music going to live longer than them interviews. And he know that. And guess what? He know that they can incriminate him for an interview, but they got to work hard for a damn out for a song. So if he going to say anything in the interview, it's going to be on the, along the lines of, yeah, well, you know, I just I just be thinking of shit. Like I just don't believe everything NASA says when in in reality he knows all the shit is fake. He can't go up there on as his career as a rap star, his fucking family's depending on him. He can't go camera and say, Hey, but oh, it, I'm a straight up flat earther. I know it's flat. I don't care what the government say, fuck the government. I don't care. He can't flat out do that because he putting all his he putting other people's lives in jeopardy because who depending on him. So we can't expect him to react the way we react. We we can't oh, we ain't gonna react the way oh, he gonna react. No, this man, yeah. this man is is really undermining our intelligence. Uh, by 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 not, bro, no, he doesn't you know, know, bro. You, you know, gotta put yourself in his shoes, he knows, bro. He knows he's trying to play dumb. He's dumbing down. Nah, the whole bro. He he's yeah. he's just one of us, bro. He ain't one, one of, of us, us in a different I'm situation. You, he knows about bro Sanchez movement. This guy rejected the movement. Huey P. Tell him. Tell him this guy know he was thought out in this movement. His information came All from. All right. Him. So what if I told you? What if I told you? Now this is just a possibility. I'm just I, I'm gonna just be honest with you. It's a possibility. Now what if he knows that if he was to align himself with these organizations, that he wouldn't be the reason why those organizations didn't succeed because of his stardom status, because of his status and his affiliations. It the 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 focus groups that he wanted to align himself with. They failed because of his affiliation, because he was the mega star of the reality that we was trying to fight. You got to understand what I'm saying. If he knows what we talking about and he know it's true, he already know that he working for the enemy. He already know it. So he's not going to sit up there and just he's not going to sit up there and just show them his whole his whole his whole hand. You don't well, show your whole hand. At the poker table, bro. Just like there's no difference to Eric Dubai and this man. There is no difference. They yes, got it truth. Is. They dropped, yes, no, there's no difference. There's no difference. B.O.B. felt no B.O.B. became a flat earther after he found fortune and fame. That's a very big difference. He brother, came from nothing. He, he's in the fortune and fame as well. Big, they created. You found out he was lying to brother, They people. can make you make their movement. This is the whole point. They control the movements from inside. B.O.B. is photographed with with the flat earth society plaque. From the flat earth society we know these people that's no that problem I, that ain't got nothing to do it with is that. a problem it is a problem these no, people are pushing space man these it's people are pushing a problem space. bro it's look direct. you gotta look at it from different bro. angles my nigga flat look, earth, right, society. Bro, flat earth society is there to mislead people and he's directing people from his music to the flat earth society where he's with the plaque and that's bro, how you on the breakfast club interview bro he said he don't really fuck with the flat earth society like that he he saw what that was about, and he realized that's not where he should have got his sources of information from. He said that in a Breakfast Club interview. Yeah, but what like, else has he said? He's you just know? like us, bro, but he can't react the way we do and on camera, bro. That's his life, bro. Because think about it like this. What if B.O.B. careers ended tomorrow, and he's fucking laughed at everywhere he goes why he's not he like fucked us. up and said the wrong shit like in the interview you know, about he, Flyer, he only bro. cares oh, about making know, money. Show, if you cared about us, you would come on Bro Sanchez's show once and just put a feature, pop his head in, and boom. But no, this brother ain't he don't care about that. Hey, and that's why that's he why I said that's why don't say <laughs> about fun, fun me thing trying to put something in let space. Me tell you, let me oh. tell you, let me tell you the advantage, bro. Sanchez got mm -hmm. over BOB. Mm -hmm. 
bro Sanchez got an advantage because for one, what we all know, bro Sanchez for when he when we first met bro Sanchez was he was a conspiracy theorist. So we 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 know that he think just like we do. He we he don't believe shit that he's told just like we don't. So when we go to Bob, we think of Bob as a rapper. We don't think of Bob as a as a as a uh, conspiracy theorist until he came out as a flat earther. Mm-hmm. All right. So when we go to Bro Sanchez, he was Bro Sanchez about. Or if you hear about Bro Sanchez from somebody else, you know damn well they talking about a conspiracy theory because that's what Bro Sanchez is attached to. All right. Uh, so no, B-O-B, no, 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 B-O-B no, 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 no,
my mind. Yeah, D Marble up there. Uh, yeah. Hey, Jay, what's up? Hey, can y'all hear me? Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh. Yeah, man. D Marble will be able to do that shit, though. Shit, man. Hey, you set up some with D Marble, Bravo up on there. I guarantee you that'd be beneficial for the for the for the archives, if you know what I mean. Good idea. Yeah. Bro. Good ideas. We gotta try something, and that's a good way, good thing for us to next to try next and try and actually do this all together. We're all here. We, you know what I mean. We remember who's here, and let's try and make little you, ideas like this move towards it. Hey, I think it's, it's it's very possible, bro. Like I said, as long as we put our positive vibes, bro, to the universe, bro, it's gonna it's gonna echo back to us, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like everything that I'm everything that I'm telling y'all, boys, bro. <laughs> I know it because, bro, I see the shit, dog. Like, I have gifts, bro. Like, I have gifts. I might not be a rapper, but I know how to write shit, bro. I know my words are very fucking powerful. You know what I'm saying? We all got a piece. So I'm saying, bro, and I'm I'm saying, I don't know how long it's going to take, but I'm telling y'all, bro, we're going to be fucking ambassadors to this shit, bro. Vegan warrior. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Fucking masterpiece, allergic, QEP, you trigger, knowledge, me, myself, bro, uh, fucking the boy. We all going to be power because, bro, we got the fucking voice. But you got to think about it. We always on the fucking panel with bro Sanchez. We got our own fucking panel now. Bro, we got very fucking powerful voices, dog. Think about it. Who else doing this shit besides us? Who up at 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, dropping fucking hey, that's what we got to find out. That's the whole key right there. We got to find out who else out there doing what we doing because it is people out there just like us. And we got to find out who they is. And we got to all you together, build right. lines like we intend to do and really start a resistance, bro. Because that's, that's, right. that's how it all starts, bro. We got to start right. a resistance, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I don't know how we going to really do that effectively if we can't really – if we, we can't really, you know what I'm saying, build on all fronts. We got to have everything. We got to have our bases loaded. Plan, plot, strategize, bro. Like Tupac said, bro. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? I, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm on the Discord chat. Uh, Discord is like, a, it's the it's the future of um, social media. It's uh, de decentralized. Uh, you can pretty much post anything you want and nothing will get blocked as well. It's like chat rooms as well. But on the Discord, I, I speak with a lot of people, you know, uh, white people, uh, Americans, Canadians, all over the world. And um, that's where I got my first experience to, like, speak on. That's, that's where I got my first experience to speak on panels. But I've, I've invited a lot of people to come on Bro Sanchez panel and stuff like this. But the thing is, they're so scared that they're going to be cornered, put in a corner, and there's going to be all the black guys against the white guy kind of thing. And this is how they all think, bro. I'm not joking you because a white guy, in a lot of cases, a white guy will feel heartbroken when he's, when he's taught something by a black guy. And it's, I don't think it's, 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 it's nothing personal. I think it's just indoctrination. They can't accept to be taught certain things by someone of a pigmented color, bro. No, you know what I think it is? I think it is exactly what it looks like. They're actually, you know, when they're taught something by somebody that's not their race and the race that's teaching them something is telling them race dead, that is shameful, that becomes something that they wear for the rest of their life permanently, which is why racism is fucking deadly, which is why it's a curse that we put on ourselves. Yeah. That confusion is a curse. All right, so... When, when, when you tell a person, when you, you say, uh, oh, I hate white people, they whipped on my grandmama, they did this, they helped, they have my great grandmama enslaved, all this crazy shit, right? That teaching that white person that, damn, my people did all that, that's fucking crazy. I would never do that to anybody. I'm not that type of person. But for the rest of that person's life, that person that's not their race, they're going to think that, that that's how they are. And that's not how it is. You know what I'm saying? That's not really how it is. That's why I've never been a racist, bro. Like, I've never been the type of person to look at another person like, oh, they automatically. Yeah. It, I just think it based off what, what they what they, what they they showed me off of their real direct characteristics. Like, 
It's like it seems like we always have to take sides with something. Do you know what I mean? Why do we always have to side with one or oh, that's my people? I gotta side with that. Um, and I think it's it's okay. I'll say it same same way that I was once with the Black Power movement uh, and you know Black Lives Matter and all of that. That's the same way they gotta come out of that mentality of their 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 movements in their heads because it's you know. We're not saying they're the supremacists, that they're the elite, but they got their own white power mentality. Like, same way we had our own black power mentalities, and we can't yep. deny that. You've got to accept yep. the prejudice that you have within you. <coughs> Don't deny it. You can't have either one because you have either one. It made no sense to be racist on no level whatsoever. Yeah. Is evil people in every race? There's good people in every race. What the fuck is there any reason to be racist for it? Mm -hmm. I've never understood it my whole day, my whole time living. I've been alive for only 28, man. You know what I'm saying? My birthday is January. You know what I'm saying? So January 1990, straight up. I think. Um... I think and my whole life, I've never understood racism, bro. That's why when I learned about civil rights throughout my life, I was, what the hell was people doing before this? They got people <laughs> off. Like, what the hell went going on? That's why I got so interested in history. Mm. I got real interested in history, man. And I got real interested in, like, like the stars and how shit really, really, really worked. So I had to do some extra fucking education on myself. I said, fuck college, bro. I'm not really about to be going to college, bro, because I'm really important in life. I'm not about to set myself back $30,000 when I don't really know what the hell I want to be in life, bro. Not at this point. At that time, bro, all I want to do is own my own business, make my own motherfucking money, and get rich. Mm -hmm. Feel me? So I was I was online figuring out how to do that shit 24-7. Like, anything new pop, anything fucking legit. I'm on it, like, you know what I'm saying? So, at that point, I was always researching what the fuck reality is and how we got here as people. You know what I'm saying? Why is the cell phone new? Why, like, one of the, like, why is, why is my, why is my gener first generation have handheld phones like this? Like, this is what I had to go through growing up. Like, I was wondering, like, why the fuck is cell phones new? Why y'all ain't, why y'all ain't been had this shit? You know what I'm saying? Why wasn't people that smart back then? What the fuck was y'all really doing back then? What happened? Why was technology so set set back so far? Like, this is my questions. Like, then I'd be asking my teacher shit. Like, how do y'all know this shit happened at this time? These people thought like this when they were when they wrote this. How do y'all on this shit? So I always look this shit objectively, bro. I never took other people's opinion for 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 for, for more than what the hell it was. I never thought like that. I never took it for what the hell they put it out there as. Like, I just, I thought the opposite. I said, damn, that's what they're telling me. But what ain't they telling me? Mm -hmm. They tell me all this slavery, but they don't tell me why the white man did this. They tell me all about the slavery, but they don't tell me why, why the black man allowed it. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. All of this shit. It's all of this shit that all this shit put together while I was growing up. I'd I be asking myself this shit like that. It was facilitated by the Arabs and the, and the Africans, man. There's no doubt that <laughs> these these people were there was people that were put in position to go and recruit the slaves. In, in there whatever. had to be some kind of there had to be some kind of agreement going on. Oh, did you hear the one about like that? They would tell the slaves, um, "Oh, there's this ship coming, and it's gonna take us to paradise. You know, a place that's better, and all of this." And the people they didn't really have to freaking tell tell people to. They didn't really have to lock them up. They went running onto the ships, and the fastest ones got there first, and they were the healthiest. But no, you know that's just a a joke. It's meant to be a joke, but. Um, it's like, you know, the mentality of... You know uh, what's funny, though? Like you know what's funny, him, though? You tell, him, you tell an African there's something better than Africa, he'll believe your ass. You know what I mean? Like me, I thought when I would come to England, I thought the streets would be paved with gold and fucking shit, man. I come here, it's hey, hey. shit and bubblegum. The funny part about that is that's the that's the secret to everywhere. You could be you can go to a motherfucking Brazil and tell them motherfucker, look, yo, it's marble floors everywhere. 
everywhere in this city named Achu Pichu. That shit over <laughs> that shit over there somewhere. And, and, and I swear, that motherfucker gonna be excited like, yo, how I get there? Where, where I get there at, yo? Yo, is is it? Does it look that much better? Is the girls that much sexier? What? Where is that good over there? Yo, where they at? That's exactly what happened, bro. So it's always it's always about perception. People can play on people's perceptions too, because if they understand that you value things that that's not around you, they can get you lured out of out of your surroundings by making you think that what you're looking for is outside your surroundings. Yeah, it's, it's a also, game. Like it's a fucking maze. Like that's how. It, that's what I realized. It's like the story of the fisherman, uh, you know, who lived out in nature. Um, a, a rich CEO came on holiday and he saw this fisherman living that life, you know, catching fish, abundant fish and building boats and stuff like this. And, he, and the CEO said to him, man, what? You should, come to, you should come to New York, man, and, you know, do this and you catch fish and build boats and you'll be able to make yourself a company and millions and millions of dollars. And, and then the uh, fisherman says, well, then what, what, what after that? This is where you can come back here and retire. What the... <laughs> Come back to the same place he was and relax. And what's the point? He's, he's rich already. He's rich of nature. Yeah. Wealthy. Wealthy off the well. Yep. Yeah. And yeah. now, 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 and that's what wisdom, that's what wisdom lets you know about older people. Like older people, when they tell you they don't need a lot of shit, because it's like once they realize life, bro, they realize life, bro, and then they value things a whole lot differently. And yeah. that's what I realized. So I just, me, try to, I just try to understand shit like as a whole so I can get the best perspective and understand exactly what I need to understand. So, you know what I'm saying? And when I do do what I got to do, I know what I'm doing. Definitely. I that's think how, that's, why, that's how I look at it. Experiencing death for me personally, um, right, left and center, losing almost everybody in my family. That was the thing that made me realize shit. It could easily yeah. be. I'm the I'm me and my daughter are like the last in my family and it's like shit if I'm next I'm fucked that's why I thought you know I better go vegan and try and prolong my life so that provided I get a chance to see her again that 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 will happen you know that I'll outlive her parents you know and, uh, yeah but yeah death death did it yeah. seen so much death people going like that I was speaking to people an hour before having a laugh next minute I'm getting a call dead I'm like what you know like it's it it, it it fucks with your head and then you realize shit i was just speaking to a person who's not here with us anymore and it was they was enjoying life there was there was you know and the funny thing is a lot of my family they they loved to talk about death and i'll be going like oh shit do we have to talk about death again like yeah I, my, my, at my funeral this and that all oh, my shit but hey yeah uh -huh. Yeah, that's 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 that those are the worst parts of life, bro. Worst parts of life, man. We all go through it. Yeah, that's that's those are the worst parts of life, bro. Like and, and that's the what that's the parts we try and suppress with uh drugs, alcohol, or whatever. And you've got to really allow those emotions to come out. Otherwise, you never deal with it. It just scars you and you you get mental trauma. And if you <clears throat> if you don't cry, it doesn't matter. I don't give a fuck what people say, man, men don't cry. Mate, if your, mother, if your mother passes away and you don't fucking cry, something wrong with you. Real talk, you know. And uh, if you're trying to suppress those tears, man, you're really, you're really not a master of your emotions. You should really enjoy that, enjoy crying and letting emotions, letting those emotions flow, flow out. But that you know what I've 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 been through it so much, bro. Death in my family is like I have have literally had to learn to enjoy enjoy it when I fucking cry and start breaking down when someone's died, because every time it happens, it reminds me of a previous person that went or a previous person that went, and it's like shit. Accept it, man. Yeah. You know, accept, it. accept that there's gonna be tears, and 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 that's how it is. Yeah, that's true, bro. But the best thing, the best thing is coming into a community like this that that um has an understanding of um of 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 life being infinite. 
energy being infinite. I'll put it that way. And that's that's the most beautiful thing because I think it, it does it does continue going. Nothing dies. They our ancestors live on through us, our eyes, our our mouths, the things we say, you know, and the way we the way we see things. Hell yeah. Man, that's why I be telling motherfuckers, bro, like that racism shit trash. Mm. I was disappointed about that build, man. This guy is really trying to derail people by, you know, trying to pull us back into some black power movement thing. It's silly. Yeah, it's but crazy. we can't even blame him for it because that's all he know. Yeah. And we see why that's all he know. He knows better because he can see that his brothers are, are, are like, what? You know what I mean? Like, what? Come on. And that's what he needs to see. Hopefully he can change his ways from that, but he he's gotta he see need, that. He just need he just need some of his friends to be on this shit, or he need to be on this shit a little bit deeper. You know what I'm saying? So where he can understand where where everybody coming from, and why we saying the shit we saying, and what, what's really going on. Because he think, wasn't giving himself enough time to listen. I think we gotta understand there's gonna be people gonna come into our community that won't be fully educated on 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 the things we are. As a as a as a group, you know, like, and uh, it's just like X Men, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Shit, X Men when they when they when they found them, them motherfuckers, they they was they was wild and they didn't understand their power. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They had to be taught. They had to be taught that they had a power. They had to be taught what they power do. They had to be taught how to use their power. All of that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the same kind of concept. We got to do the same type of shit with everybody else. Yeah. He was just a different type. He was just the type that was that wouldn't listen. Hmm. Yeah. It's disappointing. We're not, we're not born stupid. We're born ignorant. <laughs> That's true. We like to think we know it all, no matter no matter what. <laughs> and I think it takes a real man to say, like, you know, let me change my mind right here. I was wrong. Okay, put my hands up. I'm wrong. I changed my mind. Yeah, that take wisdom, man. Being able to listen, that's a part of wisdom. Mm-hmm. Hats off and cheers to everybody who can change their mind. You know, the best people in the world. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, I do think, though, if we uh build with some certain celebrities, and uh they, they can leverage what our agenda is and, and, and hopefully not get it infiltrated. But even if they do get it infiltrated, it'll just be on their forefront. It wouldn't be, it won't hit home base. If you know what I'm talking about, it won't hit home base. It'll just basically be on their forefront type type thing. Like if we get a celebrity like Eddie Bravo to really co-sign or like like get a build on 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 a, on a network or something like that, and it get infiltrated by them messing with the tapes or something, changing something that was said or something like that. If that was to take place, it wouldn't really affect. You know what I'm saying? The entire network it'll just affect what happened on eddie bravo the situation it, it and could have on affect- top of that it'll, it'll, it'll affect- open up a lot of people's it'll open up a lot of people's minds on everything else that was said well, on the other, other hand it, it could affect their public image and that's what they consider in a lot of the cases that's why they prefer to go on these specialist shows where they're going to get get the views um it's public image as well um, I really true, think true. I really think, brother, if we can get a, a brother of a different color up on here, um, I know we have, but you know it needs to happen more. But I really think it'd be difficult. And if you can do it, bro, that if we can do it, that'd be great, bro. Seriously, it, but I, I don't want to be negative about it. I really, you know, I'm, I'm trying to be positive, but um, it, it's hard to even try and draw normal people up in here who know who Bruce San- I got people who follow bro Sanchez brother in the discord that I'm in the chat discord and they won't they won't come up in in the chat no more they don't want to even come on the panels and these people what, what I've realized is I think that uh, when we talk about other races getting on the panel the reason why a lot of them we don't see them on panels like this is because they they don't know their history they don't know their history. Just like we didn't know our history and everybody else didn't know their history, they don't know their history. So they yeah, don't, I don't have I think, 
they I don't have enough evidence to even have a conversation on their history yet, like like to really go in depth on it. They don't have that information. I think you I think hit, it's locked away. You hit the nail on the head, bro. I think what what it is that we we're coming in into these panels learning with the open mind to learn from each from everyone else on the panel as well as you know, bro Sanchez, um, ultimately, but. I think when a lot of people are scared of coming into a situation where they don't know what the fuck's going on or they don't know, that's what they're scared of. It's the fear of the unknown, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think some of them know they don't know. I think some of them know they don't know, but they subconsciously don't know, and they don't care that they don't know. And I don't know. We don't know. We just know based off what the what the what the facts, the so called facts and artifacts tell us. Like mm-hmm. We don't really have no no proof on that being our ancestors. We just know that they looked it like us, their complexion was like us. You know what I'm saying? That's all we really know. For sure, brother. For sure. But um, not I, mean, little- I mean, that's all we really know, bro. Like I'm, I'm trying to figure out how does the technology they got can date people's uh, DNA all the way back millions and millions of years ago. That mean they got a sample of DNA from all the way back then to compare it to. <laughs> this is my this is this these these are the questions I be having like and, you know what I'm saying if you ask that in a room full of people they ain't gonna look at you like you crazy or whatever. Like. <laughs> but that's just real factual man like and that's why a lot of things I realize it's really black and white bro it's just like it's just like if you if you if you was to just be around a stoner all day, you know what type of characteristics a stoner got. If you are if you around somebody to do some other type of stuff, they act totally different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They don't act like a stoner; they act totally different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's just it's the same way. People who are not up on this this stuff, who are not open to be on this stuff, they don't indulge in stuff like the same type of people that indulge in this stuff get into like we get into talks about stuff like this and spirituality and and shit like that and everybody else would be like damn what the hell are they talking about i don't know what the fuck they're talking about because all they know about is the last album that came out the last dope shit that came out on tv the last movie and it's crazy because it's scary because it's like damn we was just like that but what the hell got us out of it was the fact that we was always bored when we mm-hmm. looked into that shit. When we got bored, we looked into other shit and we learned just off of free will. We learned and we taught ourselves and we found out certain shit. And you know what I'm saying? And we, we kept our conscious mind afloat because our curiosity got us to got us to a point where we came to a conclusion that damn a lot of shit that we we was told was told to us backwards, told to us fucked up, told us not at all, you know what I'm saying, or basically sabotaged in every way. So we got to decode everything. So when we watched The Matrix, it wasn't just talking about no no movie or no fairy tale land that was in a computer. Like, they was talking about reality being basically ran with a code that's attached to it and, and to understand the code you gotta understand the entire game. Right. Right. Just they, to they understand it, the code, you gotta understand the whole game. They gave away the game when they showed us the matrix because then we were all like, hmm. You know? <laughs> well, something they rubbing something in our faces here. They're taking the piss. Yeah man, that shit crazy though. Knowledge that uprising, crazy, you feel awake? Though. He's still awake, my my he's brother. Asleep. Yeah, he's sleeping. He's still live, you know. Yeah, he 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 he. His shit gonna be rolling. We all gonna be on his shit still rolling. Yeah. <laughs> man, he rolling up, man. That boy ain't sleep. No, he sleep, bro. He ain't he ain't chiming in in in, in about two hours. He sleep, yeah. <laughs> that we that we don't put his ass to sleep. Now that's a lot of respect, man, for him to let to, to let us come on his channel as well. And, oh know, yeah, that's trust. The brother fell asleep. You know when a brother falls asleep around, you know he trusts you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, 
I thought I think he thought I was I was the one messing up the panel at first because it was just me and him on the panel and everybody else was like kicked off. Yeah. But yeah, I'm nah, it, it had to be it had to be old boy. I hate I hate to say that, but it might have been old boy because you notice ever since he ain't been on this shit been smooth. I'm talking about I hear all y'all boys. Crystal clear right now. Crystal clear right now. Hey, but listen though, I mean, um, I, I've been working. I'm a firefighter. I've been I've been working for 24 hours straight, and I just got home to the fam. Uh, maybe we could do this do this um, when the sun rise. My time. I'm yeah. in the East Coast, but uh, I enjoy this bill, bro. Like I said, I'm addicted to this shit, dog. Like real talk, bro. Like I I, I wait on my phone for a notification that. Somebody going live, somebody, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I look for, I don't listen to no rap. I don't watch no TV, bro. I literally, bro, wait on my phone for y'all boys to fucking wait for the power up, bro. I wait for that energy to, like, hit my phone. Okay, oh, it's time to meet up with my brothers, you know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, bro, I'm going to leave y'all boys to it. Y'all boys be safe. Keep positive energy. Don't be around no negative shit. And uh hope to talk to y'all boys soon, bro. Peace, brother. No man. doubt, no doubt. Good rest, my brother. You take care. All right, brother. Black power. Black power. Yeah, man, Trigger. I'm going to let you get off as well. I'm guessing it's pretty late for you on your ends as well. Yeah, man. It's late as hell, man. I'm about to get some sleep, man. I yeah. guess now it's sleep already, man. Respect, man. I'm I'm glad we did a build, and I consider this a happy flat Earth day. You know, what I mean, flat Earth happy day, flat man. Earth day, man. Um, yep. I'm putting this in my two days ago, man. They better stop playing with us, man. We gonna, <laughs> we gonna fuck around, and change the world on there, bro. Yeah, bro. Respect, <laughs> yeah, my brother. Trigger. You take right, care, bro. man. Peace, okay. knowledge, uprising. Have a great sleep, my brother. Thanks for letting us get on your panel. Respect. Respect. I acknowledge I'm out, man. Peace.